it's time for the school check-in. School check-in, unfortunately, it was a lost Sunday night football national televised game. Two degrees outside the frozen tundra Lambeau Field. A huge opportunity for the Minnesota Vikings. They squandered away, needing to win that ball game to keep their playoff hopes alive. Unfortunately, the Green Bay Packers got some get back from a loss earlier to the Minnesota Vikings. Pat P, tough, tough loss. Um, first and foremost, before we jump into the ins and outs of the ball game, what was your reaction, your initial reaction when you found out your star quarterback, franchise quarterback and Kirk Cousins uh, wouldn't be able to play because of COVID? Uh, I knew it was going to be even more of an uphill battle, you, mm-hmm. know, um, you know, not at, uh, going with, you, you know, fully armored, you know, into a, to a battle, you know, all, you always have, um, you know, thoughts, you know, of, of what could happen, but also want to be in a good mindset of, you know, believing and trusting in the guys that, you know, number is called, and, you know, and not saying that we didn't, we, you know, we had all the trust and trust and Sean, but we knew the system would be different because obviously the players would be called a little different with the coordinator, not really having, you know, time to call plays with a backup versus a starter. Mm-hmm. So we knew at the end of the, at the end of the day, it will be an uphill battle, you know, for sure. Going into green Bay, you know, night game, you know, you know, you know, not you know, not fully equipped um, to play a high power team like Green Bay, um, you know, in a in a meaningful game um, that it was. But you know, we I thought we had a great week of preparation, but you know, yep. obviously was out man in that game, and you know, we didn't come out on top. Man, give us an in in depth look. You know, take us in the locker room for the defensive guys. Um, knowing that your star quarterback won't be in uniform, won't participate, knowing that you basically got a guy who's not familiar with what you guys are doing offensively and just threw him into the fire. How much pressure uh, was instantly put on you guys as defenders, knowing that, man, we got to really play flawless football for us to have an opportunity to win the <laughs> ball game. And I must say, though, Pat P, I must say this. You guys did start off playing real good football. You mm-hmm. forced field goals, you forced uh, four, uh, four downs and out. So you did a real good job to start the game off. But of course, you wasn't able to sustain that level of play. But talk to uh, fill us in on the pressure that you guys had to uh, endure, knowing that Kirk Cousins wouldn't participate. Um, it was a lot of pressure on us, you know, as a defense, you know, knowing going into that game, we were going to have to force turnovers, keep the field position, um, you know, try to you know, create field position for the offense by create tur- turnovers. But we know at the same time, Aaron Rodgers, he don't turn the ball over. You mm-hmm. know, so, you know, we try to make a point of emphasis of getting the ball off the receivers, the running backs, you know, when we get around them and have opportunities to sack them, get the ball off them uh, that way. But we know he's one of the smartest quarterbacks when it comes to throwing the ball um, um, to his guys and not, uh, not to the other teams. So we knew that was going to be – a stretch for us, um, uh, number one. Um, but like you said, you know, it was, you know, a lot of pressure was on us to play flawless, you know, because, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't afford any, you know, my bads or any, uh, any bad downs because, you know, you know, our back was already against the wall as it was. And, you know, as a defense, you know, that's what you kind of want to do anyway, have the team on your back and be able to prevail and, and try to come through and win uh, a game like that on the road um, for your team. But like I said, unfortunately, we wasn't able to hold on to that, you know, that momentum that we had in the first quarter and the second yep. quarter kind of started doing dwindling away from us to score before halftime. And, you know, after half, we wasn't able to, you know, stop them from doing anything. So, um, it was a tough game uh, to be a part of, you know, knowing how much we we was able to, you know, put in that week. Then we got the, you know, the bone crushing news that Kurt wasn't going to be able to, you know, travel with us. Uh, we knew that it was definitely going to be a, a tough game for us to uh, fight and claw out for sure. How much did COVID, you know, play spoiler to you guys this season? I mean, you look at some of the notable names that. Ne- miss ball games because, because of COVID. The year it seems yeah. like, you know, your quarterback missed time, uh, uh, Harrison Smith missed time, Adam, you, Dalvin Cook hit. Th- that game Dalvin Cook missed, what, two weeks ago caused me my fantasy championship. <laughs> I still 
Yeah, left me out the dry. I'm, I'm it just left me all the way out the dry, not playing in that <laughs> ball game. So, you know, tell your opinion about COVID. How much did it play spoiler to you guys this season? I think it played a big spoiler, you know, to our season. But at the same time, you know, we had the guys available early on in the season when we lost those close games. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, it did play a role. But at the same time, you know, we didn't do what we needed to do early on you know, to not even be in this position later on in the season. Yeah, so, you're right. Um, it's a lot played a, played a role into this season. Um, but I tell you this, man, I had a, a ton of fun. Obviously, I know we got one more game left, but I had a ton of fun with this group, um, especially for having an opportunity to play with my boy Harrison, um, you know, um, you know, being able to, to share lockers with uh, ben, having a locker next to Adam, an mm-hmm. NFL great, seeing, like I projected, seeing Justin do – you did. did. You you said that. Hey, you, you I said, said top that during, three. You wait a minute. You said that during before training camp, or was it oh, yeah. during training camp? It was like yeah, it was early, but being able to be on the sideline, see you know J- Justin's season unfold the way it did, you know, being able to be a part of the Cookie Monster games. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man, I had a blast, man. You know, so it's it's been it's been all nothing but great here for me. You know, in this one year that I you know been here um, with the team. Yeah, and and looking at what happened Sunday night against uh, the Green Bay Packers, why do you think offensively the coaches decided to go with Sean instead of Kellen Mond? Oh, that's an interesting question. You yeah, because they, they know. remember they use a third third round pick yeah. on Kellen, uh, that, which is a high pick. It's a high draft. It's you know, high. I don't know. I think maybe because obviously Sean's a veteran. You know, it's a high state game. Um, you know, he's familiar with the off, more familiar with the offense than uh, than Cullen was. Um, you know, I, I think a lot could could have played in that in into that decision. You know, I don't know exactly what played into that decision. Yeah. Um, but you know, obviously Sean got the call. Um, they felt Sean was the best best suited for the job, and um, that's what we went with. Yeah. Why do you think they felt Sean was better equipped to handle that job instead of the third round pick and Kellen Mont? Cause like I said, I feel like they felt like Sean had a better understanding of the offense, especially the state of that game. Like that was, you know, win or go home. You know, mm-hmm. you know, Cullen hasn't played, you know, all year. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, you know, why would you put him in that in that position? You know, now I think Sean had a lot of game experience under his belt. Um, like I said, he he understand he understood, you know. Um, the position that the team was in and what we needed to accomplish to, you know, to, to, to hold on to our season. Yeah. And I just felt like, you know, they went with the better. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's going to be a talking point, you know, for quite some time because, you know, many people felt like, well, this might be an opportunity for Kellen Mon. Uh, and then you use a, a third round pick on Kellen Mon, which is real high, especially for a quarterback. Um, and then not seeing him, given the opportunity that presented itself. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a talking point, but that, that was a discussion point for a lot of But then fans. you got to look at it, too. Sean was the backup all year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was the number two. He was the number two all year. And and that's how it happens. The number two, when number one is not there, three yeah. don't jump, two, you're no. going to be number one. <laughs> Just not, not that. It, yeah, it's not going to happen. But it is what it is right now.